We're going to check in now with Mike Eppel over at Six City News for the latest in business news. And it looks like today may be the day for the Dow Jones to hit 20,000. Yeah, Christmas could come early to Wall Street today, Tammy. We've got uh, the Dow Jones, the benchmark that everybody kind of follows. Uh, it is 26 points away from 20,000 to start the day. It came within 13 points in yesterday's trade. Uh, it still was up 91 points. It's been up uh, by more than 8% over the past six weeks since the U.S. election. So this late year rally just continues to roll on and 26 points out of 20,000 that's not very far at all and like you say could hit it very early today you know I was looking back at my notes on 2016 uh, and the first day first trading day of this year January 4th the Dow dropped close to 400 points it was on pace at that point to hit its low in February in and around 15,600. So you think about the remarkable rally that we have seen here for the blue chips specifically, not to mention the records on the S&P and the NASDAQ and all of the other benchmarks on Wall Street over the course of basically the past uh, uh, seven months. It has been quite the 2016. The TSX has actually done better on a percentage basis. It's on a four day winning streak coming in. It's up 17 and a quarter percent for the year and it's kind of indicative of how 2016 has gone where some of the weaker economies including Canada's have had some of the best performing stock markets so again going into uh, 2017 you'll hear all sorts of predictions about what's going to happen next year yeah we'll see if any of them actually come true price for oil close to its highest of the year who would have thought that back in February when it was around 26 bucks a barrel this morning the price for West Texas Intermediate is above $53 it has rallied and again going into the new year it's all about supply and demand will OPEC follow through on the production cuts the uh, supply level out of the states last week dropped 4 million barrels according to the American Petroleum Institute then we had the announcements late yesterday by the uh, Trudeau government in Ottawa and the Obama administration in Washington about banning drilling on Arctic oil projects. Five years here, moratorium, and in the States, Obama wants to put in a lifetime ban. Analysts are saying a lot of this just has to do with politics at this point, considering that no company is actually looking at drilling in the far north because of, well, high costs. Some say you have to have oil at hundred and fifty dollars per barrel just to make it economically feasible and then you've got all the transportation issues that you have to deal with so yeah there is oil there to be found question is will anybody get to it and does anybody actually want to get to it both for environmental and cost of production reasons a couple of stocks uh, in the notebook this morning, Tammy. One was uh, BlackBerry, which yesterday saw its share price drop 3%. We talked about the earnings uh, early this time yesterday morning, and BlackBerry uh, they lost money, and their sales slumped in the latest quarter. So the transition to software, it is the way to go for this company, but it's a long road ahead, and BlackBerry continues to struggle uh, to end the year, at least on a stock price basis. And Nike had a very good earnings performance in its latest quarter. Stock's up 2.5% this uh, morning. But over the course of this year, Nike, Skechers, and the likes of Under Armour have all struggled this year from an investor standpoint. We talk about the markets going up. That particular segment not doing well. Nike's down 17% for 2016. The high U.S. dollar is hurting all of these multinational companies, and that's probably not a trend that is going to change anytime soon. Back to you. All right. Thanks very much, Mike. You're welcome.